It is time to talk about Thanksgiving sides. Celebrity chef Michael Chang is here with all of her favorites that are easy. Hi. Hi, how are you? Okay, so you know, oftentimes people go to a Thanksgiving meal and they are going to somebody else's house and they have to yep. bring a side. And it's always like, what am I going to bring besides mashed potatoes, which everybody brings? Absolutely. So there's options. There are options. And I am all about simplicity. Yes. And so these are five minute prep Thanksgiving side dishes. I love it. And they're healthy because you're embellishing, you're, you're engulfing in like fatty mashed potatoes and things with butter and rolls. And I think these are nice alternatives, but are packed with flavor. Okay. So where do we start? So, so these, all three are roasted vegetables. Roasted so vegetables. So we're going to get our sheet pan. Yeah. My favorite item in the kitchen. Non-stick aluminum foil. I go Best through invention so, ever, right? I go through so much of it. So we're going to line the I sheet cook, pan. But I mean, when I do, it's like foil everywhere. So here are some heirloom carrots that are already peeled and washed. It's so okay. they go right so wait, on here. I think it's important. Okay. Is it okay to just buy it out of the package, or do you have to buy it fresh? This is fresh. The only difference is it's trimmed for you already, so it saves so much of the washing and the cutting time. Okay, so you're cool with it. I'm totally cool with All it. Right. There's a lot of organic ones out on the market right now as well. Okay. So we have the heirloom carrots, we have the cauliflower, uh -huh. and then we also have the butternut squash. I'm going to put these all on one tray. They take about the same time to cook. Hot, hot oven, 450 degrees. Okay, very hot. Heated. I do it on like the upper rack of my oven, okay. like three quarters of the way up. Yes. Drizzle with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, uh -huh. just a little bit. Yeah. And then just some salt and pepper. That's it. That's that is it. For so this. it's high heat because you want caramelization in all of these vegetables that you're roasting. Okay. I think people, you know, people were really into grilled vegetables for a long time, but yeah. honestly, roasted vegetables are the easiest and they are so flavorful and yummy. All right. So we're going to put this in our pretend for oven our pretend here oven. on the set. 450 degrees, degrees for how long? 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, Probably 20 it. minutes if you have like a nice convection oven. Got it. So when you pull them out of the oven, this is what they look like. We're going to start with the heirloom roasted carrots. Okay. They get caramelized and they're really beautiful and delicious. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to season this with a little bit of harissa. Harissa What's is, harissa? Harissa is a North African spice. Let me smell. It's mostly ground pepper, oh. spicy red pepper, uh -huh. usually serrano, and then onion and garlic. They also have like a paste version. Okay. I like to dry because you can keep it in your pantry all year round and you have it. Okay. So this is going to add a little bit of spice, so okay. a little bit of harissa, and a touch, maybe just a tablespoon of maple syrup. Oh, so on the like, carrots. Yeah, on the carrots, and it's absolutely delicious. Really? Okay. So you have these, and then you can just put these on your platter. I garnished them with a little bit of fresh parsley. Uh -huh. um, you can roast these in the morning and just heat them up you know, in the oven, yeah, 15 that's, minutes, that's 300 it. degrees, right before you're going to serve them. Okay, wait, say that again, because I think, you know, you, you cook it, and then you show up to the house, and then what are you supposed to do with it? And sometimes things don't taste good reheated. Exactly. So. These reheat, I, I would say, 300 degree oven for like 10 minutes. Perfect. Absolutely. All right. So here is a roasted cauliflower. Look at how beautiful it, and caramelized it got. Yeah. Oh, it, the brown's it on the top. sweetness. Cool. Okay. Yes, the brown is wonderful. That's, That's what, what you want. That's what you're looking for. And then I'm just going to season this with some truffle oil. People Ooh, really love, love the smell and the yumminess of the truffle oil. Oh, I love the that earthiness. Smell. Yeah. And you want to do this after, not before, because it's, it'll take away some of the, the scent in you the mean, oven if you do it uh, before. So uh, you want to. After it comes out of the after oven. After it comes out of the Got oven it. is when you want to do the truffle oil, yeah. garnish it with a little bit of the parsley on top, and then this goes in the dish as well. This item is actually great to heat up in your microwave. You could heat really? this up in the microwave for 90 seconds, or you could pop it in the oven again. And then this is just 300 parsley. 300 degrees, 10 minutes. That's just parsley. And then the last thing that we have. I'm trying to be fancy. This, <laughs> okay, this go. is honestly, I get more compliments on this simple side dish. I can't even tell you how many people ask me for this butternut squash recipe. Tell me. Roasted butternut squash, yeah. just like we did. We're just going to drizzle again, not a lot, maybe just about a tablespoon of the honey. Okay. So you want to go ahead and mix that, Lisa? Yeah. And then it just adds a little bit more sweetness okay. to the already butternut roasted squash, delicious butternut squash. And then you can put it in the bowl there. Yeah. And then I'm just going to garnish it with some crispy, crunchy pumpkin seeds, oh. which adds a really nice texture. I do like And it's a crunch. great alternative to nuts if you have nut allergies. Pumpkin seeds. And this by far is one of my most requested side dishes when people come over really? to my house. Really? Okay. So again, easy, easy. Thanksgiving sides. Ooh, the prep time was five nothing. minutes. Right. And then the last thing okay. I want to talk about is the cranberry sauce. Let's talk about cranberry <laughs> sauce because I know that there are people out there that hate cranberry sauce. And I, to them, I say, you are confused. I it is agree delicious. with you. I think it's absolutely delicious. So um, bring so this, this over and tell us about it. So this one is a little bit different. It. 
So this one is just one package of the fresh cranberries. I've added three quarter cups of brown sugar, uh -huh. a little pinch of clove, nutmeg, and cinnamon, mm -hmm. and then I've chopped up um, one jalapeno. If you wanted to go spicier, you could do serrano pepper. Oh! And then it's just the juice and zest of one orange. You put everything in the pot and you cook it for ten minutes on medium high heat. Oh! And it and, and it, it reduces and it's the like a, reduces almost like a jelly juices, uh -huh. and it makes this. Amazing, delicious cranberry sauce. And again, all of these recipes you can find on my website, great. livingwithmichael.com. And okay. it's Michael Y instead of an I. Right. And um, this is great on leftover turkey or grilled chicken breast or roasted pork loin. This cranberry sauce is delicious with pork. It's fantastic. And don't be confused. Also on the leftover Thanksgiving <laughs> sub that I'm eating the next day. Absolutely. You have to have a cranberry sauce you on it. You have to. You have to. Okay, so w one more time, what's in here? A bag of fresh cranberries. Yes, three not the frozen ones. Not that the I, frozen okay, ones, fresh. fresh ones. Got it. Uh, three quarter cups of brown sugar. Uh huh. A pinch of clove, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Uh huh. Juice and zest of one orange. And, and then jalapenos. It. Yeah, and then many. the jalapenos, chopped jalapeno or chopped serrano chili. Is it if you chopped want it like fine chopped? Yeah, fine, fine chopped. Oh yeah. If you Ooh. don't want it that spicy, you remove the seeds. But otherwise, just go ahead and put the whole pepper in there. Easy, five minute. Thanksgiving sides, Michael. Thank you so Thank much. You. We're gonna come right back because Michael is here to talk about hostess gifts. Easy hostess gifts. Easy mm -hmm. hostess gifts.